Welcome to the animation tutorial where we're going to be discussing pretty much everything you see here under the animation tab. Obviously we're only going to scratch the surface because you could literally spend hours tweaking your animation to come up with different patterns and cool effects. So right off the bat, the highlight animate, we click on that and now what was once static has become dynamic. We have brought our geometry to life, going back and forth in a pulsating motion. Now let's see what happens when I click tracing. Now we get that tracing effect. So if I pause the animation, now you have this pretty cool formation with the tracing effect. Let's say I want to clear that. Go ahead and clear that. And I can start from the beginning. Now let's say that I begin tracing and I don't want the tracing to kind of go all the way but I want to store a specific uh, point in time of the tracing. So let's say I click on tracing and then I click store trace, turn off the tracing, turn off the animate. So now I have uh, a tracing effect stored. Let's clear that. See, it cleared the portion that it was stored as a trace. So if I want to clear the rest, I once again select clear trace. So sometimes when you are exploring or playing with the tracing option, there might be uh, a time frame where you want to kind of store that trace so that you don't lose it and you can use this feature. All right, so now <clears throat> let's go click animate again. And now let's click rotate. And it does what it says. It begins to rotate. We also have rotate hue, but for that one, we want to click uh, change the line color first. Let's change the points um, colors as well. So let's select points here. Let's make it green. So now lines and points have their own color and if I click rotate hue then they start changing colors all right if I click trace then it's going to trace as it changes colors so now here you see that tracing effect combined with tro uh, rotating hue all right now <clears throat> let's reset the scene okay uh, let's go back to that hexagon shape let's turn on the points and now <clears throat> let's see what happens when i click animate and we have scale mode we have now sine wave let's see what happens when i turn it into saw wave it's kind of resets Right? It's not continuous. Let's go back to sine wave. And we can also uh, change the scale start and the scale end. So let's play around with that, see what happens. So I increase the scale start. Let's decrease the scale end. Now let's go ahead and click undo. going back to the original animation. You can also change the scale frequency. And here you have a couple of parameters. So let's choose this one. And you'll see that changes the frequency. You can also invert it. You can also use kind of a fade effect. So scale start fade, let's use that. And it begins to fade, right? And you also have presets. So let's select this one. Now let's go to scale and fade. Let's use 0.5. Pretty cool. Then you have rotation velocity. So if you are 
using the rotate animation, uh, rotate parameter, and you want to increase or decrease the velocity, you can also do that as well. The hue velocity as well, if you want to change the colors in a slower or faster way, you can also do that. The scale face as well, let's see what happens when we go to pi. And for the rotation phase as well, if we were rotating it, we could also choose these parameters or simply slide here from left to right to increase or decrease. So there you have it. You can use the animation um, in many, many different ways to create dynamic geometry and um, art. And you can also use the tracing feature to get that tracing effect. So that's it. That's the demonstration for the animation. Obviously, like I said, you can spend many, many hours playing around with this and coming up with different color combinations um, different animation sequences, speeds, etc. And every time you change a single parameter, you enter a new possibility. Thank you for watching. See you on the next one.